from May 9th, 2024. Let's go and check them out. The servers are down. We got the new character, Liam Liu, is coming out. He is crazy. It's going to be really interesting to see him coming out. As well as since we're halfway through the season, we're also getting the tenacity treasure. And oh my gosh, it's to die for. It's just to die for. Good lord, this is so good. Um, we have the limited time golden radiance, tempered um, fortitude uh, transmutes to gold, wholehearted dedication ascends to apogee. That was a lot of words. That was a that was hard to say. It's stuff <laughs> for Liam for the new character to try him out, get some trial vouchers and and some goodies for him. Uh, we also have the limited uh, event for the PlayStation tournaments are out. Tournaments number five. It's kind of crazy to see how often we have um, unique stuff going on just for PlayStation consoles and everything. If you guys are a PlayStation um, uh, player, make sure you guys check those out if you want to participate for those uh, special rewards. We also have uh, a ton of hero adjustments coming out for Tianhai, Tessa, and Hottie. So let's get into that. We have in slightly increased the speed for tail strike uh, trap to generate the tail glow zone um, after foxfire bullets hit the environment. This is Tessa. Um, redesign the ultimate enchant group prey in the following. It now consumes 55% rage um, and uh, her enchant group prey no longer ignores dodge. Um, enemies must approach and interact with the soul vessel within six seconds to reclaim their soul. Failure to do so will result in health loss and significantly restores Tessa's health as well. Um, and extended the duration of rage regen inhibition following the cast of enchant and it's derived ultimate for 11 to 13 seconds reduce the invincibility duration for the skill tail strike the invincible state now doesn't persist throughout the entire move and remove this a skill which is called tail strike repel which um, and removed the ultimate uh, enchant bite. So the dev notes of why they decided to do this is Tessa's ultimate is now being cast too frequently during battle. So we've slightly extended the rage regen um, inhibition period uh, to bring its usage more in line with our intentions um, for Hottie. He also is getting the skill um, mechanical arm pursuit removed as well as removing the ultimate which is aerial ascent rescue if you guys don't know they are currently moving every single character down from three of both skills and ultimates to two over time so keep checking to see if your character's favorite skills and ults get removed uh redesign the skill mechanical arm in the falling ways now hottie can aim and launch the mechanical right arm pulling a hit enemies to him Hold the skill button to aim during which left click horizontal strike button triggers the default effect. When the mechanical arm reaches its maximum distance or hits an enemy, right click, how do you position and trigger an explosion? Aerial Ascend now deploys the mechanical cube and adjusted the ultimate aerial ascent and its variation um, blaze the duration is then adjusted to 25 seconds for both. Slightly reduce the recovery frames for the first and second stages of charge attacks in flight state, adjusted the damage of first, second, and third stages. Um, adjusted damage dealt for second and third stages of both of those. You can see the nerd stats and then again remove those extra things. So those were Hottie and Tessa. Oh, I totally skipped T and Highs. I just realized. I'm so sorry. Um, for T and High, uh, he has removed the skill Divine Bell Blast and T and High call support. Um, shorten the recovery frames for skills and ultimate stomps in Vajra's state. Optimize direction height of airborne effects from Vajra stomp and relocated the weak spot of Teen High's restore all trans. So yeah, it's all it will be fixed to the head instead of the feet, pretty much. Um, I do remember that. In the patch note said previously the stomp move of Teen High's call posed a low threat to enemies. To address this, we've adjusted its recovery frames and enhanced its power. This allows Tien to execute combos of horizontal strikes and grabs, increasing its threat in, um, in close combat. So that's really cool. I think that'll be a good thing. We've got weapon adjustment. We have for great sword, increase the attack range of the first move of Rockfall Slash. Um, and then after executing a horizontal or vertical strike or a slide horizontal strike, a long press on the horizontal strike will now initiate a horizontal strike charge. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, soul Jade adjustments. We have Shorten Eruditions, which is the spear one, right? Startup frame changes the, the focus level of two stages. The follow-up strikes to purple and reduce the damage 
um, Spear Storm uh, startup frames can now be interrupted by dodging, and um, upgradable Soul Jades are now reduced the Spear Soul Jade erudition and Spear Storm. We have reduced Crossbow Soul Jades, which Venom Tip and Barb Bolt, Curative Bolt and Healing Bolt. Reduce a pistol, uh, which is quick charge and thunder call, bow soul jade, fire arrows and target lock, musket soul jade, uh, slow shot and sunwing shot. Reduce the melee soul jade assault, uh, smolder upgrade condition. So like all of these, they can be upgraded at lower conditions than before. Um, and um, uh, reduce upgrade condition of nunchuck, trigger and lock break. So you guys can see what you need to do. And it has been lowered for all of those. So they're easier to upgrade to the second version of their soul jade. In game adjustment, feature optimization, increase the Q size for hero assemble to six. Hot potato counter, optimize the victory conditions it's for determining the winner. Introduce the final round where only two players from opposite teams are left. Out of game adjustments, the star collection auto restyle. Um, so you can automatically roll back, so you don't have what I what happened to me where I rolled back. But I went for it twice and didn't roll back to the right one. Okay, each collection supports up to four selectable objectives based on its unlocking status. So you can like be like, I want the next extreme. I want this. I want that. That's what we're in to help you like roll through them faster. Restyle items and decide whether to automatically consume gold or silk. That's kind of nice. So they've pretty much just sped it up and what to go back to and everything and you can actually have it auto like revert back if it's bad so that's that's really nice that's really nice although you might spend a little too much silk um showdown adjustments preview of the changes to soul jade recast recasting soul jades will no longer be restricted by the attributes of the material soul jade instead epic and legendary soul jades will be decomposed into general materials interesting during the new system initial phase the old and new recast systems will coexist for a limited time we hope that an upcoming season of showdown players can have more time to experiment with various soul jade builds that's that's good that's good i think there's so much to be had and it's really you kind of at least for me when i play i kind of get in my little way and i don't like explore because it's all like too confusing for me so i think that this will encourage uh more creativity so that's that's nice uh reduce the staggering duration of evil ends uh extended the startup frames of non-focus attacks for bow uh and ocean yaksa and bronzoid swarm stage adjustment adjusted the eventide ember normal in the monster lineups and the three strongholds now appear in the in order indicates by the guide yama's abyss Lineups and some hard levels have been changed. Tweaked algorithm of Rift Dealer selling Soul Jades. Increased the number of shop areas and hard level areas in Void Space. Um, and then outside of that, function updates. Client optimization Intel XESS has been updated to version 1.3, optimizing AI models. Um, Detailed reconstructed images and better anti-aliasing while simultaneously reducing images retention and making images more stable. Newly added graphic levels with super performance, ultra quality, and native anti- Oh, I'm excited to play with that. <laughs> the allows for better performance while maintaining visual quality. We love, we love that. We love that. We love, 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 love that. Um, adjusted FSR algorithm 2 and parameter configuration significantly improving at FSR 2 and FSR 3 display effects. The improvement will most pronounce at low resolutions. In-game fixation where a controller, uh, a controller to cancel the cast of Hero's ultimate skill may accidentally trigger um, when you use a weapon to repair kit. Oh my god! <laughs> Xbox optimization optimizes the performance of physics um, simulations at low frame rates. Um, shop updates, we got the new packs for the brand new player, we have the new um, discounts, we have the new chest that came out and the accessories that go along with it. There's poses, there's backgrounds, there's accessories, there's voice packs, there's so much stuff. Um, some older stuff is returning. Spectral Silk has three new items coming in, including some um, eyeshadow, which we love. And then last but not least, showdown related bugs fixed an issue where the hell uh, hole in it, frozen earth ice burn and frozen earth chill could linger after the conclusion of its battle so it sticks around and that is all ha, 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 ha. if you guys enjoy watching this content make sure you subscribe to my youtube check out the twitch and uh to keep up to date with all your naraka news